guys, this is Colonial Puppet, and this is part 11 of my Let's Build an Airport series, the hotel duration of the whole airport Let's Build that I'm doing. Um, the airport hotel that is, Titan International Airport. Here's the hotel that people will stay at if their flights are unfortunately delayed. Um, but yep, here we go. Uh, like I said, I'm going to finish the exterior of this top building right here, or the top uh, um, floor, that is, uh, which like I said is going to be a really fun floor, there's going to be a lot of uh, cool stuff, and before I go any further, I'm going to quick mute my computer. Alright, my computer's muted. I didn't know if you could hear it, but I could, and it was kind of messing with me. There's a delay, um, I had my uh, PC, the volume was up, and the PC uh, plays the audio from the uh, TV, which is the Minecraft audio, but it plays it on a delay uh, for some reason, and that was kind of annoying. And the delay is because uh, it's recording, like there's a, a delay on everything. Um, on my PC, because I have the window pulled up showing the gameplay I'm recording, and of course it's going to be delayed because, uh, you know, it's recording it, it's not just displaying it. So a lot of stuff's happening. Uh, but right now I'm putting the um, roof. It's not going to be green like the other ones, because there's not really going to be anyone walking on it, because it's going to be the roof. Um, and I would flash, or I would edit all of this out, uh, but unfortunately, um, I may be putting some, uh, like, uh, sunroofs, I guess. Or, you know, like, there's openings and all that stuff. So, yeah. Da -da -da. I'm gonna count. And hold up, this person keeps messaging me. Do, do, do. StubHub. View profile. Invite a game. Congratulations, Sup. Supa Dub. I'm gonna be on an episode of this Let's Build. Uh, and hopefully the volume from my TV isn't messing with anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to build it 12. So 12 blocks out, and then I'm going to put in a uh, like window. Right, I guess it would be called a window. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to change to quartz. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh. And he left. Six, five, two, three, four. All right, that's only four. I'm gonna make this five. So it's five on each end, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's gonna be ten on the inside. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. There you go. So this is, I'm probably going to put a pool underneath of this. Um, and it'll be cool to, there was a place I stayed at, uh, at the beach, that had this cool window right above the pool, so you can like look up at the stars while swimming. And it was also at the base of this really kind of tall building. And, uh, yeah, you could just kind of look up at the building uh, and the, the sky. It was a really cool view. I'm going to try and replic replicate something like that. Like, oh, look, the moon. 
it's going to be there. This is going to be wonderful, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Do, do, do. Put some stairs, because the only blocks are just a point. Uh, he wants me to join a party, but my my mic doesn't work. And usually I use that as an excuse for when I don't want to talk to people, but that's an actual, like, it actually doesn't work right now, unfortunately. Uh, so I don't know. I'll invite him again. He probably just wants me to invite him. If not, I'm sorry. You can join another time. He, he, I think he wanted. There we go. Hopefully, he doesn't lag out this time, which I assume he did last time. That or he had some weird update. Oh, didn't kick him out yet. I think he tried to join yesterday and it kicked him out, like, right when he joined. But it's not doing it this time, so hopefully he wants to stay. But this is what I meant by window, I I guess it would be a I don't I really don't know what these would be called. I'm sure it's not sunroof. Although it could be. I'm kinda blanking on what these exterior or not exterior, these ceiling windows are called. They're just called ceiling windows or what whatnot. But anyway, I'm kinda rambling. Do 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 because I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know if I should build the same one, the same distance from this side, or if I should just kind of keep them on this side, or what. Or I could put three, do the same thing, kind of mirror it, and then put one in the center. But I'm not quite sure how that would look. In fact, I'm not really sure this building has like a, well, I'm sure it has a center, but... I don't know if I could fit in a third roof window and have it the same size as this one. Uh, oh well, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Because I had this one 12 blocks, 1, 2, yeah, I had a 12. I remember it was 12. Did I fill this in? Yes, I did. Awesome. But yep. I'm going to fill this in as well. Again, I'm going to have it at 12. Then I'll put in a sunroof on this side. I'm just going to call it a sunroof. Even though I'm pretty sure that's on cars. 1, 2, or moonroof. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 blocks. Uh, you know I'm tired when I start doing terrible accents. And like humming. So sit through that while I finish this building. Alright. I'm just gonna check. Alright. TNT and fire is off. So if this stub hubba or super dub fella is uh, a griefer, he can't grief with TNT or fire. And I was actually talking with someone, I forget, the worst kind of griefing is like when someone just breaks, like blocks every once in a while on like a gigantic map like this. Like if someone like just lets off TNT, like I, at least I know where they grief, but if someone just like goes around breaking random blocks, like it's hard to kind of find everywhere they grief and it's like being a perfectionist, knowing that like there are blocks throughout your city that are broken and not knowing where they are, that's just kind of like cruel. So hey, if you want to grieve my city, that's how you do it. Just kidding, if you do that, I will. I will be angry. I will publicly shame you. Be like, hey, this person likes to grief. Actually, I won't do that. That would be cruel. Witch hunting. 
I think is what they call it when you give out people's information because they wronged you on the internet. Even though gamer tags aren't really that private of a thing. I mean, I guess they're private, but if I said Mothman Junior123 eats babies, go send him spam hate mail. Like, that would be evil. And just a disclaimer, I know you guys are smart, that was a joke. Just saying that. Mothman Jr. doesn't really eat babies. His gamertag just popped up on my screen, and I used him as an example. Do, 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 do. As to what witch hunting is on the internet. Better put... See, I don't know, like, right now I have the volume turned up on my TV and breaking the bottles or the splash persons are really loud. So hopefully that doesn't come up on the audio, and if it does, hopefully I do a good enough job of syncing it so that you don't really notice it in the background. Because I'm recording my audio and video separate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have to sync up my playing, my gameplay with my audio. And like, usually it's never perfect, like it's like a half a second off or something. But it's too slight to tell. Um, or at least for me to tell. What I do is I like do a countdown. Like I move my character and I count down on the audio. So I'll be like, one, two, three. And then I match up with, I match up me saying one, two, three with uh, the movement of me doing this three times. And that's how I sync my audio. I'm sure there's more efficient ways of doing it, but that's how I do it. I could probably, I'm sure the Hopog uh, software has audio recording, but I haven't really looked into it yet. And I'm comfortable with um, GarageBand, so that's what I've been using. But the video editing software I use, Windows Live Movie Maker, is it's all right. It's very simple though, so it's kind of hard to like match stuff up completely. Like the editing interface is kind of, eh. and like sometimes, like you know. There are programs where you're like trying to edit something super precise, but it like snaps you. It's kind of it, like it feels like when you're in Photoshop. I know a lot of people don't use Photoshop, but for those of you who do, will kind of get what I'm saying. Like you're trying to like move something over, like a very small amount, but like there's like auto snap enabled. So like, say you're like moving like a picture of a smiley face, and you're trying to move it over like one pixel, but there's like a snap feature enabled that like moves it over automatically like at least five pixels and it's kind of annoying like trying to be precise but like the programs like trying to like auto snap it to like some grid that you can't see that kind of stuff and sorry to those of you who don't know what I'm talking about because it's kind of you have to well I'm sure I PowerPoint and Microsoft Word does it as well but I don't think to like at not to a noticeable degree uh, when compared to programs like Photoshop and Flash. There. I'm not sure how much taller I made this. I made it one block taller. And I'll put a not clay, I'll use... Actually, I'll do this. I really like quartz. I'm glad it's in the game now. It's such, like, a nice... Like, I always wanted a white block that wasn't um, iron or wool. Because wool always makes that weird noise when you step on it, and it's kind of, like, fluffy looking. And iron is nice, but, like, a little too detailed. I just wanted a really simple white block to build stuff with. And when Quartz came out, I was so happy. Alright. So
So I'm building up the um, stairwell one block. And then I'm putting this kind of perimeter of stairs. And then I'm going to fill in the top of stone like I did the other one. There's one of the last remaining villages on this map. There's another one like over there. But this one is like one of the last ones. I actually like destroyed it a little bit. But I think I'm actually going to put a window in here. Hopefully this is recording. I'm not too sure if it's recording. Sorry, I was looking over at my computer. Completely messed that up. And obviously this is going to be smaller. Or actually, this is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight. I can make this just as big as the other windows. If I take out row of stone on either end. So all these windows are going to be the same size. Dang it. I should have counted that before. This just fits perfectly. Damn it. Although it leaves not that much space in between each window, but that's alright. It's kind of what I wanted. Um, and after I'm done these roof window things, I'm going to start on the windows uh, that are, you know, just like the normal windows. And I'll probably edit through that so you don't have to watch me putting every window like you had to watch me put every vertical column last episode, which I probably should have edited through, but I didn't end. Super dope just sent me a message. I'm gonna try and read that later. I'm not gonna read it now. Because that would be rude. I'm making a let's build. And I'm kind of curious to see how tall this building is. Because it's getting there. It's almost as tall as those buildings over there, even though there's like half as many stories, or half as many floors on this building than there are on those buildings. Those buildings are like 10, 10 stories high. This is like 5, or 7 actually. 1, 2, yep, 7. But the stories, or the floors are so tall on this building that it's actually kind of like rivaling 10 story tall buildings. Here it is, here's the building, and I'm actually going to um, fix this. As you can see, that's kind of weird how it's like overhanging. I'm simply just going to put clay like this. Uh, that, and then over here, same thing. I'll actually build up this so that it reaches the very top. I don't know if the other one did, I'll quick go check. Do, do, do. But already this, this floor is looking pretty cool. Nope. Awesome. I'll actually do this. I'll put a little doorway so that maintenance people, like it's kind of like they ever need to do anything to the roof. Usually buildings have like ways up to the roof like that. There you go. Even though there isn't anything maintenance looking on this roof. I'll do that actually now. I'll like put in some heaters. I'll make them iron. Or like some air conditioning box. 
right here. And then I'll put like a little control panel like right here. And I'll show you what I mean by control panel in a second. And then some stone slabs. I know that that looks important. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it look like some sort of important piece of machinery. So every building has like a maintenance floor or has like air conditioning units on like the roof or near the building. Usually like looks like that or something. Like this one a little. Pretty cool. And what I meant about control panel is I'll like put some buttons and stuff. Or if it like overheats or something, or to turn it on and off. I like put one of these off. There you go. I'll also put a um, little station for like I don't know. This is a hotel, so there's probably gonna be like satellite or dish network or something like some sort of something that would require a antenna of some sort something a little more I don't know it's a bit too simple real quick like I never spend that much time on uh, the um, antennas and stuff on my buildings usually it's really just kind of like sporadic just like putting random uh, bricks places I, I usually use the bars and the um, nether brick fences for my that kind of stuff Again, I'll probably put like a little lever. I don't know what I was thinking with that. I'll just do this. All right. Not too shabby. Really, kind of no idea what that's for, but makes the building look a little bit more realistic. Um, now for lighting, I'm um, probably just gonna do the. I may, I actually, since this floor is a little bit taller than all the others, I may put uh, lights on that hang from the um, top. I don't know if that'll be this episode or what, but. Sounds sounds like a good idea for this build. Um, and then pretty much after that, I'll do the interior, like build a pool, and then that'll be done. Or the hotel will be done, and I'll start on the. Uh, actually, that's a lie. I'll have to do the exterior of the hotel. This is going to be pretty big. It's going to be a pretty big let's build. I don't know how many episodes are going to be in it, but it's going to be huge. Um, but as you can see, the building's looking pretty nice. And I, it was looking better than what I expected. I kind of looking back at how it looked, like with just one story, I didn't know if it was going to turn out, turn out that well. Uh, but it's actually turning out pretty nice. Alright, I'm done with the windows, and I'll quick do a little look around, show you what I did. But windows on pretty much everywhere there was an opening for a window. Nothing too fancy. Um, 
But yep, here it is. Here's the uh, hotel. And I really like how it turned out. I don't know, there's something about it. it it's realistic looking, I think. Um, I don't know, it's kind of brutalist looking, like brutalist architecture. Like something you'd actually see. Uh, and it's... Yep, that's pretty much... The exterior is pretty much done. Um, I was thinking of adding stuff. I may add... Like, to make like this pop, because it's kind of flat right now. I may add something in later episodes to make it pop. Like, actually, I'll do this right now. I'm just going to add some clay. Let's see if this helps at all. Maybe this will look nice. If not, I'll just take it off. That's why I'm only doing it to one side. But... This is kind of what I did. I don't know. Maybe if I did this. That look nice. Hmm. I don't know. I'll just roll with it for now. And if I don't like it, I'll just take it off at some point. Do this and then. Every other place I do it, I'll do it as well. So, I don't know. Just to kind of, I guess, complete the form, or kind of go with the form that I already had going. Even though I do like how kind of simple it looked. And like I said, I could always take this off. And those of you who are doing this Let's Build, uh, like following along, if you liked how it was, you can just kind of skip this part. Honestly, I'm indifferent to both. Although I did like the, uh, the simpler versions. I haven't really given this a good look yet. So once I'm done this, I'll kind of give it a look and see what I think. I like the simpler version better. And if I do, I'm not going to make you sit through me breaking it. I will, um, I'll just stop the video and then break it off and then tell you in the next episode that I didn't like it and took off the uh, extra clay I put on. But I don't think I'm going to think this is that bad. I actually kind of like it. Um, Pretty cool looking. Look at it from this side. Eh. I don't know. Actually, I don't think it's that bad looking. I look at it from an angle. Hmm. I'll do this. Sorry, this episode is kind of going a little long. But... Oh, well, you... actually, it would be cool if I did this. Creative juices are flowing. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of experimenting, which I guess is good. It's a pain in the butt for you guys to probably have to sit through, but actually that's pretty cool. And I guess I could I could do it through this. These two. Alright, I think I like this a lot. Let me zoom out. Yeah, that's not too bad looking at all. Do it to this side. Then what I'm going to do, the last thing I'm going to do for this episode, I know this episode's kind of dragging along. Um, what I'm going to do is put some external lights. This may be one of the longest episodes in the series. I apologize for that. I'll try and keep them at or below 20 minutes starting after this episode airs. Um, 
which honestly is harder than it sounds. Like you kind of get, like building, you kind of get into this zone. It's hard to snap out of and like look at the clock every once in a while. So the next thing you know, like you could be building and look at the clock, it's already been like 30 minutes. Although I think I've been doing a pretty good job. These are meant with exterior lights. Put them on my list. Let's build and I liked how they turned out. So I'm doing it for this one. And I may actually want to just do them for. Actually, I do them here too. I was going to say I may just do them for the um, front and back windows, none of these side windows, but why not? Boom. Hopefully by the time I finish it sunset so you guys can see the building while it's night nighttime. But there you have it. I almost forgot these guys. But yep, that's pretty much all uh, I'm doing for this episode. I hope you liked it. Next episode I'll be doing the interior of the last floor of the building. Uh, as you can see, I really like how it turned out. Awesome. Um, yep. Uh, like I said, interior, I'll be putting in a pool on this top floor. The one we just built with the uh, roof, with the see-through, the window roof, or whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Um, interior, then I'll be doing some landscaping. Maybe even putting a restaurant on the back. Because a lot of them have like restaurants protruding from the... Uh, hotel that people can eat at, guests can eat at, um, but yep, it's pretty much uh, all that's going to happen on this episode, be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out, and the previous episodes that have already came out, already came out, yep, uh, and yep, that's all I have to say, this has been Colonial Puppet, have a good day, and see you next episode.